Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back again to online NPTEL course on structure from an architecture, the synergy. Uh, in the last lecture, we have discussed on the advantages of truss and space frame for different uses, different application as like for the bridges, for the buildings and for large span structures. Similarly, uh, now there is another uh, structure added to this category that is the folded plate structure. So, Today our focus at lecture number 28 uh, will be um, uh, your folded plate structure. So, let us get started. Now, before uh, like discuss about the folded plate structure and its component, its technical detail, let us understand uh, some of the folded plate uh, structure which do exist in our uh, nature. So, this is basically a palm leaf. Okay. And uh, here we can see that nature that how it is being made and like uh, the application sometimes even uh, for the you know hand, hand driven uh, fan, we use this leaf when it is get dried up and it is giving a good stability. This is one and if you really have experience of that those edges, they are quite stiff and you can uh, it can really hold a good load on top of it. If we just make it flat, if I make this uh, section flat, so it is nothing but a very thin plate uh, where like applying load will uh, make uh, the bend, but where I just this is option 1 and option 2 I just make a fold. So, it is all of a sudden uh, you know uh, it will increase the capacity of resisting the load on top of it. Similarly, the structure that uh, also we have that is the C shell. So, in this uh, case also we see that particular structure uh, which is make it more stiff and very strong uh, for like which will act as a protection for this particular uh, creatures in the nature. So, we get we can get inspired from that we can develop something. So, uh, in case of like a single piece paper, if you try to just hold it, so it will try to bend. So, you cannot really hold it like this, but if you just try to just make a fold and again hold it, so it can have the capacity to take the load. So, let us just uh, do not go by this particular sketch and we have to believe it. So, let we can uh, we just try this out. So, I have a very plain piece of paper. This is a particular Cartes paper you normally use for the drawing sheet. It is little bit uh, thicker than the normal Xerox paper, but then also whatever we have just uh, said, whatever I have said. So, based on that. So, I am placing this uh, in front of you and try to hold it from one edge. So, it is very difficult like if I want to hold it like this I cannot okay? uh, because of the self weight and because of uh, uh, non availability of the end support it is uh, having this particular deflection. Now, even if we just try to support it okay, from both the end then also we will get the bending. right? Now, in place of that I just not uh, make a fold just give a notch here and now it is stable right so if you can see from this direction it is stable up to certain distance and they get, again it is trying to get uh, this particular bend and now i can put a load like i can put this pin so it can easily hold it if i just put something bigger than that 
So, it is not able to because I can understand it is not. Now, in that case if I just make a fold like this, now it is more stable. Now, if I want to put this load, okay, then also it is heavier than that, but I can definitely increase the load uh, more than that. So, this is uh, just a slight change I put it there. So, it can hold this load. We cannot imagine uh, this can be possible with a paper when it is uh, having no particular fold. Like that, uh, I just want to uh, improve that. So, I can have this kind of folded plate, it can easily be made with the same kind of paper. Okay? And now, I just want to taste it. So, now if I want to put this particular duster, see no deflection. Okay? And now, uh, if I remove it, this is basically a stone and it is very heavy. Uh, you can see, now I just put it there. See again there is no changes and uh, not only like it is giving support to my hand, but if I want to uplift it as well that no such uh, support then also it can hold it. So, this is advantage of uh, the particular um, you know folded plate. Now, if I want to make it more complicated like it is a single fold and definitely uh, we do not have a end support, this is another made of that, it is a later aim, um, just uh, coincident. So, now if I want to put this load, say so it can easily hold this load, but which is uh, uh, normally if we just consider the thickness of this particular paper, it is not possible. Now, replace this paper with some good material like some concrete, some timber, it can do excellence uh, to carry the load and for a long span as well, because for this kind of span if we just give support end to end like I just put this to wall and then I want to hold it. So, let us see how it can. So, I just try to demonstrate this. Okay. Now, see this is again stable, so it is possible. Uh, so, now move on to the next thing. So, basically folded plates what exactly it is that you know I have just shown very simplistic form, but here you can see various form made of paper. So, it is related to the origami where like different uh, fold can give you different result and here it is basically the formation the form that being created and in all cases you can get that some volume being created. So, this particular volume being created, this volume being created which is having no other obstruction. So, this is advantage of the folded plate structure. So, what exactly it is the folded plates are assemblies of flat plates or slab. So, plate or slab is alternatively being used inclined in different direction definitely it uh, may be inclined in this or it may be something different. Uh, maybe members are not equal as well and rigidly joined along their longitudinal edges. So, basically when you have this paper, okay, we just divide it and just make a fold. So, the same paper is folded, squeezed and then uh, carry the loads without need of additional supporting beams. Uh, in most of the cases folded plates combine slab action and beam action together. What exactly it is like whenever in a um, folded plate a uh, load being applied. So, first it will transfer the load uh, through the shorter edge and then here you have the support. Now, as because we have multiple such, so the connecting members also get some balancing out the uh, resultant uh, reaction to that. The thin inclined beams of greater depth, uh, whenever you make it uh, uh, increase the depth, it will be you know you are more uh, rigid, it will give you more steepness. I give you another example say for uh, like you are studying, you are on a study table and just you uh, want to rest. Uh, so, you can just place like this. Right. So, in this case like if you try to speed it, so 
after certain time you will fall, but if you just make it stable like this, so that will give you more stability. You can do, you do practice or you just taste it and you will get the similar result. So, when you make it very flat, when you actually decrease the depth, so it will not uh, you know uh, give you much steepness compared to where you have uh, larger depth. And then uh, sometimes you know the uh, this uh, particular uh, layer they are stabilized and then it uh, resist again the you know your buckling. So, whenever you have this uh, uh, member again, so it has certain uh, particular certain level of uh, carrying the load and as because uh, it is having some self weight, so it can also uh, be flattened. So, for that if you just fix both the end uh, with the beam, uh, then this will be more active. So, this is another advantage of the folded plate, so that can be uh, developed. Now, coming to the fold thing, again the edge are formed and this is basically the steep edge and when you just uh, make it multiple, so we have end support to be provided here and then the edge support at the end where you can use some truss, we can use some beam as well uh, and the span being um, like this. So, the span uh, that you have to create in this direction where you have multiple uh, members in this direction. So, only in one direction you have to put here this particular edge support or edge beam can solve uh, the purpose of you know holding the end load. Now, uh, again the similar thing with the support this is a single sheet can have the bending when you make the fold it can hold some load, but when you add more load the way I just tried with uh, a lighter one and the heavier one and then if it fall, but if you support this end condition, then it can again uh, can resist more load onto that. Now, this is basically the bending and fold plates cause top compression and the bottom in tension is similar to your truss and then it will train to flatten out due to gravity load. So, how you can solve it out? You can uh, give support from this uh, you know edge and which can uh, stop. So, it is basically the flatten out due to gravity load or the applied load to this, um, but this can help it to uh, still intact. So, here it is basically the folded plate structural behavior how it happens. So, load applied on this, so external force are transferred to the shorter edge first and then the reaction that generate. Uh, that is divided between the adjacent elements. So, the component will be divided, the vector uh, uh, will be divided that load, you know, the vector uh, uh, analysis or you know you can get this distribution and then finally, the force is transferred to the um, supporting columns. Now, in uh, these sketches which has been taken from a book uh, that is mentioned here also as well structure in architecture. Uh, so, in this case it is uh, just uh, the formation where the uh, folded plate how it being formed from a single paper. Uh, this figure 2 where it is being shown how the load being distributed at this particular shorter edge, but at the same time with the span what we have is basically the shear. We have uh, the bending shear as well as the axial shear and in order to stop that what you need to do? we have to put the edge uh, support. So, it can be of the option 1 which uh, may be a uh, just you know uh, some frame or maybe it can be a truss or just it can be a edge beam to support it the way like I have shown here. Okay. And this is something what is showed that uh, it is equivalent to this particular uh, in a space where like uh, if I have this member, then I just cut this portion and I can make this fold. So, maybe the area, the volume that uh, like area that can cover it. So, we, within that I can make more rigid, it can hold much more load to that. So, it is again a optimization of the 
uh, structural section where this can be uh, you know converted to the folded plate as because uh, uh, previously also we have discussed whenever we have this rectangular section. So, uh, if you see the bending force, so there also the outer fiber will get the maximum stress, but at the uh, you know inner portion or interior portion is having uh, under stress means which is not uh, able to carry that. So, then we can uh, go for optimization of that and the I section is one of the result of that. So, we can go with this uh, folded plate. Now, dependency the how folded plate will be efficient or motor it will depend on the pattern of folding. So, it may be very regular folding or it may be something different. So, half fold uh, and maybe it is uh, eccentric folding. So, here you can see different kind of folding being placed. The geometric basic shape that will take it may be a rectangle or just simple fold or it may be a triangulation by which you can accumulate and can make a geodesic dome kind of structure. The material definitely the material plays important role to take upon the decision of the shape and pattern because ultimately uh, the you know safety is uh, structural safety is one concern and for that like it may be concrete, may be timber, may be plastic, may be glass some corrugated sheets being also made uh, with this pattern. So, uh, this case like the material used for the construction uh, also the, the you know it will depend uh, materials will affect uh, the decision on the type of the folding plate that take. The connection of the different folding plane is another important thing. So, it may be of simple edge to edge connection, it may be something like where it is more flat connection. So, this corrugation can also be possible where something flat is being uh, done or maybe it is something which is very much eccentric in that. Design of end bearings whether we will go for supporting it with a continuous wall or just the support like uh, a column. So, and then the edge beam is being supported with the truss or a beam. So, that depends uh, depending on that folded plate uh, you know the characteristics that will depend. Now, uh, the materials uh, as I mentioned wood can be used, steel is definitely be used then reinforced concrete will be a very cheaper if it is being made for like uh, mass, uh, mass scale application. Aluminum can also be used to uh, you know reduce the weight of uh, self weight of the structure, plastic glass can also be used some corrugated sheets and all already available in the market in form of folded plate. Now, coming to the types, so basically it is being divided in three types, one is the surface structure one is basically making a frame uh, or portal and then you have the spatial. Now, in the uh, plate surface that means only the roof instead of flat, now we have this particular folded plate done. So, this is representative thing and where the end will be supported by maybe a column or something. At the same time where we can have a frame, so the whole structure being folded. So, here if I uh, take this example, so this is the same member uh, getting the fold, the roof and um, the wall as well. So, this is basically the category number 2, so which is very similar to the uh, folded plate frame structures into this category. And the special folded plate is basically getting a different form, um, like this is one option where we can get different kind of folded dome, uh, some different kind of geodesic dome can be formed with this. Uh, it may need not to be only the triangle, but it can go with the pentagon, uh, you know hexagon combination or else it can be uh, some different formulation, uh, but with proper uh, you know calculation that can give us this kind of results. Application of folded plate um, definitely it can be used at the roof structure for uh, stadium or maybe many cases some railway stations. Uh, we can have this kind of uh, you know structure or maybe for the parking. Many cases we can get this kind of 
you know umbrella roof uh, structure uh, like basically uh, if you get so this is holding a particular span so this can be possible it can also act as the wall structure here you can see that how the uh, folded plate being used will get uh, pictures of that as well then it can also be used as a floor this is something interesting where like if you have some you know um, insulation or some services to uh, be taken between the floor then we can use this kind of uh, system so where this uh, hollow part not only um, basically reducing the material but also it will help to run all the services so this can be of this uh, floor structure or else sometimes uh, nowadays we can see this kind of stair as a folded pattern but again the application can be of more like even some of the cases in construction for the sheet pile uh, we also use this kind of uh, folded plate which will give the steepness to resist uh, against the lateral force so there may be the, all the strange is that we you know uh, put for the sheet pile in the entire area so then we can have this particular sheet pile uh, as the folded plate now we will focus on some of the examples and try to understand the beauty of using this folded plate and many a cases is being used for the charges uh, and chapels. So, here this is the example of charge of Notre Dame and it is the example from France. This is the exterior view of that you can see that how uh, the wall is uh, getting that particular fold and this is basically the interior. Now, the interesting part of that with the fold is a nice application of those glasses to welcome the light from outside. So, this ambience inside is really um, interesting. So, this folded plate the outer structure looks very pleasant and interior uh, uh, like ambience and the experience is even better than that with the application of folded plate. And this is a very famous if you search folded plate architecture. So, this will be the first result that you get. This is Air Force Academy Chapel in USA and again it is nice example of like if you just compare with the, the typology it is not the roof not the wall uh, itself like it is a triangle but the fold and all other thing you can get it somewhere like how the fold being made uh, in this uh, particular structure. So, and this is the nice uh, interior view where the end is supported with some steel members and it is uh, one of the you know greatest example of the successful use of uh, folded plate structure. Move on to the next one this is Ikohama International Terminal where most of the terminal buildings they need huge span to be covered without much restriction because of the heavy flow and also have a, a good filling of the volume. So, either they can go for the space frame or maybe the arches or the sail structure, but this is something where the folded plate being placed uh, uh, as uh, the alternative and the final output is in front of you. It is looking amazing with this particular you know uh, cut with a very nice line and you can imagine the span that it holds without any vertical support. So, this is again a successful application of folded plate. Now, coming to the temporodome that uh, this example I have given long back uh, as well. So, this is uh, one multipurpose arena and again uh, the structure being made the outer structure is basically the fold and here uh, along with uh, your straight line that finally, uh, it is also taking a shape of a curve and this is the interior that is also very well decorated. This is forming a form of uh, like some, some petals um, um, kind of uh, ambience the, and it is very much regular and uh, it is formed in a uh, circular form. So, this is another example of the folded plate structure which is looking very good and solving the purpose. It is basically the corrugated sheets nowadays we uh, you know, use uh, for the covering. So, this is available with some you know instead of tin or as asbestos nowadays we get this particular form and it is being placed as the wall 
as the folded plate. So, the example in that category like the folded plate at wall. So, this is another example added to that. This is the Saint Rita cake. Um, this is again a charge and here you can get this particular nice a uh, very simple very uh, very much simple structure just the fold uh, on it and then you get this nice ambience inside with a skylight at the top. Now, coming to this, this is the state farm center, this is the assembly hall in uh, Illinois campus. Uh, this is making a folded plate uh, you know domical structure. So, this entire seat being made with that and um, this is something where like special form of folded plate structure, uh, structure that uh, being placed here. This is sports center uh, in Switzerland and you can see that how beautifully it being made not only the roof, but as well as the wall. So, this is the category where the um, frames not only only the uh, you know roof being used or maybe the flat surface, but here it is making the portal instead of a very uh, typical um, uh, post beam connection here it is getting uh, your folded plate connection in all the, all the direction even the roof even the wall and um, you can see that solid void especially at the night time you see this particular representation where like the solid void and application of the dark um, the use of this concrete and the illumination it is giving nice view that rhythm being maintained and this is very important for folded plate structure when you arrange those plates uh, you need to maintain uh, proper geometry, proper symmetry if it is required for the structure, then only you can get the desired result. So, application of folded plate structure being used in multiple areas. So, we have seen churches, we have now the sports arena and then uh, we have a multipurpose hall there as well. Now, this is a bigger application of that folded plate structure, a very light structure. You can see that how this being made, this is a stadium in uh, sports stadium in China, whether like uh, where uh, this entire thing being covered with uh, you know semi uh, translucent material where the light can easily penetrate, but it can also provide the shade to the spectator watching the sports activity. So, this is again a beautiful application of the folded plate how uh, it is being made and here the glass material being used. It is also possible with the uh, use of the steel and glass we can go always it need not to be timber or maybe uh, it always to be like made of your um, concrete, but also the glass steel we can have this uh, application. Coming to the advantages of folded plate we have seen the advantage of the folded plate uh, one is very light because of the reduction of the thickness of the slab. Uh, Useful for long span without obstruction, this is similar to the space frame, but yes, here also we can uh, apply the same reduction in material and resulting reduction in dead load and construction cost as well. So, the moment you uh, reduce the thickness of the structural member, definitely it will reduce the dead load and that material cost definitely uh, reduce the construction cost provided that you are applying it the mass scale not at very small level project where maybe things will not really uh, be proven right. Aesthetically pleasant definitely the example that we have seen this one or maybe the previous one, maybe the daytime or night time it is giving really uh, nice uh, view um, point of the architecture that being created, the interior space being maintained without any compromise uh, compromisation and also the light and shade part into it here also it proves the same thing. Coming to the disadvantages uh, like framework is difficult definitely when you make this structure it should be very accurate as because like uh, the load will transfer to the each adjacent member. So, say I want uh, this to be very much uniform. So, all the you know connections to be very properly executed then the shuttering uh, to be you know very much appropriate and also it needs supervision and skilled labor as well. So, that is the point that we should uh, look into this is not exactly the disadvantage, 
because to get something really great, we have to do this. But still, uh, like compared to the traditional post beam, which can be uh, easily erected, it needs some more attention to get the desired result. Then accuracy in form work or shuttering is just I mentioned that is very much required because the shuttering the way you make the final outcome will be same if we use the concrete because concrete will take the shape of the shuttering. The form work you give accordingly that will if there is some undulance uh, undulation and then the concrete will take the same thing. So, we will not get very nice uh, you know experience nice view from the inside, but more than that, that may lead to the uh, you know collapse of your uh, infrastructure, which is also true like in the previous le lecture we have discussed about the space frame where like is very beauty that the small small members connected together will have uh, a very uh, good resistance, but any failure, any failure at any part of that member uh, will uh, like be a catastrophe for the entire structure. So, as true for uh, this folded plate structure as well. And then uh, the problem is uh, there uh, as well the increase in rise and uh, definitely the folded plate, but in order to get this it is contradictory to each other. Like definitely if you increase the rise then the total height the effective height of the building will also increase. So, if there is a height restriction of a building or you have to optimize the height given you have to make multiple floors. So, this option may not be a good solution for all, all this like arches, straws, this will not be, but wherever you have uh, that particular freedom you can easily go with that. And uh, what is also uh, need to be mentioned that I uh, probably not mentioned in the previous lecture that is for all uh, your uh, truss or any pitch roof kind of construction where uh, the slope being maintained or uh, maybe it is round or maybe a pointed. So, it will not only take care of uh, the structure, but as well as like it will also take care of the uh, perfect drain off of the uh, rain water or maybe uh, if it is in the cold region. So, drain off of the snow. So, this is useful uh, uh, you know form that can be used for some climatic purpose as well, but also with a visual purpose. So, that uh, synergy that we need to make between the structural form selection and the purpose of your structure and other thing that can be easily blended. And slowly slowly when we just discussed we started discussing about the uh, post beam structure and now move to this particular you know folded plate the shale structure and the other thing. So, we, we have seen that the good application and you know, the final product which are very famous in uh, um, you know in the world is really giving us nice experience and also uh, you know increase our interest to know about the application of that and definitely whenever we get a chance to do it uh, especially for the student pursuing. Uh, architecture. So, for them in their design like wherever like we can see uh, get a chance to design a um, you know parking lot or maybe a shopping uh, a mall or maybe a sports stadium, indoor stadium. We should definitely try this out uh, to get a better result because uh, it will solve the purpose of long span as well as it is giving some kind of you know aesthetic beauty uh, good form to the architecture. So, with this I just conclude here and in the summary uh, again like uh, what we have explained that uh, in place of uh, very uh, you know in, uh, in, in state of a simple plate if we just uh, make it fold. So, that all will actually increase those points. Okay. Uh, this is making uh, this thing more stiffer and then the load will be distributed like when the load is given it is converted to the side load and then it is uh, going to the edge and transferred uh, to the support and for that uh, it can be of uh, like you, you have the plane surface you may have uh, like uh, what uh, just I have shown like something like with the roof as well as your wall together. So, 
if we just make it something like that just mind my sketches here I have shown you like uh, similar to this which is basically the frame or the portal this is basically the flat and the spatial is basically your uh, this folded uh, plate dome that um, some of the applications are already there. So, this is uh, very useful and the material um, the concrete can be used, but for that the form work should be very much perfect and if not then if you use the steel and all it will become little easier, but the perfect execution is required how you join this and how you give the end support to stop the bending or the failure due to the gravity load that how you go for the edge beam on the support whether we support it by the wall or we entirely make the building like uh, the example we have seen that the sports uh, center that in Switzerland there we have seen how beautifully they have done it. Most of the churches they have used it and they also used those uh, you know solid white thing to welcome the light uh, to maximize it. So, there are applications that we can um, really think of and we should try to apply in our design like special for the students, they can apply in their academic design who are professionals, they can also think of where the purpose is done. But definitely for this kind of application you need a little bit of uh, bigger project, so that uh, the cost uh, you know uh, which may, may be the you know the formwork that to be made in some uh, module. So, that will be cost effective and for the small also we can try with different materials not only concrete we can think of some glass or some PVC material to have nice look uh, that can be done. So, these are the reading materials that you can go through and also you can follow up the links given in uh, this PPT. So, that you can know more about this, you can know about the buildings that I have shared with you and you can definitely add on more and you should do that. And you just share with me some of the more examples that you found or either you have visited the place or you have gone through some of the article sites, internet sites and then you can add on. So, I would like to see those uh, input from your site. And then uh, moving to the next lecture, we will have the membrane structure. This is again a very beautiful uh, structural uh, system and be very useful, we will be discussing on uh, our next lecture. And till then like uh, I would like to thank you all to take part uh, very actively in this course and we will be meeting in our next lecture. Thank you.